Welcome back. So today I have a quick video on how to multi-broadcast over to kick.com. Before I get into that, I just wanted to say that this is the first of many kick.com tutorials. Kick.com is a new streaming platform in beta. And as it releases new features, I will roll out videos showing you guys these features and tutorials alike. So enable notifications, slap that subscribe button to be notified when I drop those videos and more here on my YouTube channel. So today we are trying to make this as short as possible. That's what these tutorials are going to focus on being as short and least BS as possible. So let's get right into this to multi-stream over to kick.com. So me, I am currently using OBS version 29, 29.0.0. And I will drop the link for the plugin for OBS in the YouTube description down below. The link is going to bring you to this page. Now, the link that you want to access is down here. It is a zip file called obs-multi-rtmp-portable.zip. Okay, it might be a different date for you. However, that's not important. It's This is the one you're looking for, the zip file. Now, you want to open up the zip file. Once you download it, right? You have this little thing right here. Open it up. And then you have your zip file. You have these two folders, data and OBS, OBS underscore plugins or dash plugins. Now, if you are not familiar with how to install OBS plugins, I'm going to do a quick tutorial right now. It's pretty easy. All you want to do is go over to your root directory for OBS, wherever you have installed that. So now for me, I have it on my PC. I have it actually installed on my D drive and then over in program files and then OBS dash studio. You want to look for this right here, OBS dash studio. Now what you're going to do is you don't have to go into the folder. This is just to show you guys that you'll see these two same folders, data and OBS dash plugins back out over here. Um, so you can see the root folder, the directory folder. You want to take these two folders. You're going to take them and drag them and drop them over into OBS Studio. And it's going to give you the prompt to replace the files in this destination. You're going to hit yes. I'm going to hit cancel. I am canceling that because I don't want to. I already have it. So then all you're going to have to do is just close out that, close out that, and then close OBS if you have it open, and then open it back up. Now, the next time you open up OBS, you're going to be given this window right here, multiple output. And currently right now, I'm actually streaming to Twitch straight off of OBS through my, you know, the normal connection through the properties and the settings. And I'm also restreaming to Kick and I'm restreaming to YouTube right now. I'm restreaming to two different platforms and Twitch at the same time. I'm streaming to three. If you want to add a target, all you want to do is add a new target. And what you guys will want to do for kick is add kick. This is where you will put your server and this is where you put your stream key. Everything else you can leave the same. These will pull the stat, uh, the settings rather from OBS, wherever, uh, whatever you have them set to in OBS, this will be uh, what these will be set to. You don't have to change this unless you really want to go into this and change, you know, the encoders and all that for each platform. Now you'll have kick right here and in order to grab your stream server and key all you want to do is go over to the kick page your creator dashboard and i'm not going to go over to the page because it'll show my information but you want to go to stream and it will show you both links the link for the server and your stream key you copy and paste those into your your spaces right here and you just hit okay that's literally all you have to do and if you want to stop streaming, like I will do right now, I will stop streaming on YouTube. I could stop and start streaming on YouTube individually. I'm still streaming on Kick. I'm still streaming on YouTube. And my initial connection is I'm still streaming on uh, on Twitch. And you can see that. Um, this is the last thing I'll show you guys. We'll end the video right here. Make it quick as my stream is connected to Twitch through OBS. Or my OBS is connected to Twitch through the in. Uh, OBS settings. Now I'm soon going to separate that and I'm going to add a new target and add Twitch. Oops. So that way I have, you know, all three connections separately. 
However, I haven't done that yet, but I will do that soon. My name is Mad, and like I said, subscribe and enable notifications to be notified when I drop out more videos on kick.com features as they roll them out. And make sure to stop by any of my streaming platforms, Kick, YouTube, Twitch. I have the links down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.